Well, all the sunshine we have been seeing the past couple of days, unfortunately, has been replaced by some wet and some pretty gloomy weather. Showers started to roll in late yesterday evening and even into the overnight hours. So as we look across the Ohio County traffic cams, still seeing some light showers and some drizzle come on down. So definitely make sure to take it slow on the roads. Make sure you do leave plenty of space between you and the other cars around you. But still could see a couple more showers this morning. So definitely make sure you do have that umbrella with you as well. That's all thanks to this cold front that has been moving on through parts of the Midwest. The good news though, most of the heavy activity now into western Pennsylvania. But still seeing another line of showers that will try to roll on through this morning. But look across much of Ohio and Indiana. Along and behind the cold front, we're actually clearing on out. So don't be surprised by showers this morning. But could see a few pockets of sunshine by the time we get to the afternoon. Though currently 63 all across the Panhandle with our cool spots of 62 in Carrollton as well as on over to Millersburg and our warm spot of 64 down to St. Mary's. So thanks to the clouds and showers, temperatures remain on the mild side, but we pretty much just stay in the 60s all day, just warming up a degree or two each hour. So really, by the time we get to 3, 4 p.m., we should notice our temperatures trying to get back into the 70s, but everyone just likely max out between that 70 and 74 by the time we get to the afternoon. So showers continue to move on through this morning, so definitely have that umbrella with you. But really by the time we get to noon, showers are out of the area, but still could see a little bit of drizzle, especially for spots south of I-70. But look what happens though as we head into the afternoon. As the cold front moves on through, we actually see cloud cover trying to break up a little bit. So once we get past lunchtime, more likely closer to dinner, could see a few pockets of sunshine, but just know that any extra pockets of sunshine could allow for a few showers to try to pop, mainly between that 7 to 9 p.m. time frame. So 8 p.m., seeing a few move on through eastern Ohio as well as here in the Panhandle. Those likely out of the area even by the time we get to 9, 10 p.m., so by midnight. Just seeing those clouds roll back in, but well, after the front moves on through, we'll really notice start to see a change in our temperatures. So overnight tonight, should see everyone getting down to the 40s, so 46 here in Wheeling the warm spot of 47 up in the Chester and our cool spots of 42 in Millersburg, Coshocton and Zanesville. So if you're heading out early tomorrow, definitely want to have a jacket with you. Good news though is we are trending dry for the morning hours now. So 6 a.m. early tomorrow morning, just a few clouds that quickly clear on out. So if you're heading out to Ogilvy Fest tomorrow morning for the parade, likely we'll see some pockets of sunshine, but like today, any extra pockets of sunshine could allow for a shower or two to try to pop really once we get past lunchtime. So by 3 p.m., noticing a few north of I-70 with a few extra pockets of sunshine throughout the afternoon. Dinner time, most of us should remain dry, but could see another round of just some light showers try to move on through during the evening hours. So I really expect most of us to stay dry tomorrow in the afternoon today. Just might be a little bit damp and especially cool as we head through the weekend. As temperatures dip down into the mid and low 50s, but can't rule out a stray shower any day through the weekend and for a day on Monday. Then 58, mostly sunny on Tuesday, then back to the 60s. 65, mostly sunny on Wednesday and 67, with a chance for a few showers for our day on Thursday.